I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream. This congregation is held for the purpose of conferring honorary degrees. Chancellor, I do not suppose that many of us, shopping with an eight-year-old son, have been required to sit in a particular part of a shoe shop because of the color of our skin. Nor do I imagine that our wives have often had to explain to distraught children that daddy went to jail to help other people. Never before has this university or its parent university at Durham honored an American Negro and it is all the more fitting therefore that we should meet today to recognize the creative achievement of one whose contribution to furthering the brotherhood and dignity of man are amongst the most significant in the modern world. So, Mr. Chancellor, I ask you now, both as a symbolic gesture and as the highest mark of distinction this university can afford, to confer upon Martin Luther King, Christian pastor and social revolutionary, the degree of Doctor of Civil Law, Honoris Causa. Welcome. Um, I'm quite certain that you've got better things to do with your time uh, on this wonderful day than to be here in this quite close room. I'm glad you could make it and the weather's great. We hope you'll have some refreshments um, afterwards that if you are in the business of wanting to be uh, a lawyer or wanting uh, simply to achieve in whatever career it is that you have in mind, that I'm really here to say to you that if you want to achieve, then you can. If you want to achieve, you just need to focus yourself on your goal. You need to believe in yourself and you need to persevere. I was busy trying to be a lawyer and my father who died in 2005, <clears throat> I'd said to him, look, what do I do if my boat doesn't come in? What do I do? And he said, you swim out to it and then you show it the way back. And so in a way that's been my motto in life. I believe that we can create our own luck I don't believe in hanging around and waiting for someone to come and knock on my door and tell me that I've made it when I can actually go out and knock on their door and tell them to come back and see me. Um, so, I've got my O-levels, I've got my A-levels. I have 
been interviewed at various universities and I've got an unconditional place to go to Newcastle University. Newcastle University was um, an absolutely first-rate university. As a matter of fact, I discovered today that they have now named one of their committee rooms after me, which is quite, I think, not bad for a girl who started life as a cleaner kind of thing, right? Who stops you? The only person who's going to stop you is yourself. Don't make excuses. Don't say it's somebody else who stood in your way or you didn't get the right degree or you didn't work hard enough or somebody had it in for you. The only person who's got it in for you is yourself. You want to be a lawyer, get on with it. Because there's nothing to stop you. We, if you believe in yourself, the journey may be hard and you may fall a few times. You may not get there in one go, but you get there. It's about participating and making sure that you get to the finishing line eventually. You don't all have to get there at the same time. Some of you may be mothers. Some of you may have other difficulties. Some of you may have financial problems. Some of you may just be toying with the idea of going down that road. Well, toy and then go. But when you go, <laughs> but when you go, go. Don't mess about. So that's what I'll say to you. No matter what the challenges are, no matter what the hostility is, no matter what the hurdles are that are in our way, if you believe in yourself, if you persevere, if you continue, then you will succeed. I decided that if I was going to wait for the authorities to recognise that I was a woman of ability and talent and going places, I'd be waiting forever. And so I decided to write to them. And I wrote to them, um, telling them that I wanted to be a judge. And I knew that I was far too young uh, at the time. If they kept their eye on me, <laughs> they would realise that I had ability. And I was just the sort of person that they wanted. And they wrote back saying, it's a bit too early, 10 years too early actually, but not to worry. We'll keep our eye on you. <laughs> and um, true to their word, they did. Because the... Um, day after my relevant birthday, I was one of the youngest uh, to be appointed. Um, I qualified in 1983, I was appointed in 1996. Normally, uh, to become a judge, a part-time judge, you have to do 20 years. And so I was one of the youngest. I would turn up and my colleagues would say, oh, it's Constance in her pigtails, because I was, <laughs> at that point, quite young. But that was because, as I say again, I didn't wait, and this is again a message to you, I didn't wait for the authorities to recognise that I had talent. I told them where I was and told them that in due course I'd be making that application and when I did I'd expect them to know all about me because I told them I was going to be making it in due course. So it's about having a focus, having a goal and sticking to it. Make a note in your diary. Five years' time, I've got to just ask them how they're getting on. And, and that's how it is done. So, I was appointed um, as uh, one of the first um, black um, judges.
Now that's the six of them, huh? Good. Good. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. And as you go along, press harder and harder so more paint will come out. Wow, it's coming really nice. Well done, well done. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 it's fine. Yeah, continue. Don't move the, the angle of the brush. Leave it as it is, yeah? And then stop at the junction. Thank you. 